Yeah, this series has been unbelievable. I mean, the Warriors are big, then the Lakers are winning big, and the Warriors, they just laid an egg in game three. I tell you, it's been a wild series. How good has it been? I'm, a, I'm just not talking about play on the floor and the intensity and all that. 7.4 million viewers for the first Laker Golden State game. Obviously, the anticipation mm -hmm. of King James and AD versus the Splash Brothers and Draymond Green's antics and all that. <laughs> it is the highest rated individual game ever in the Western Conference playoffs in the history of NBA games on television. 7.4 mil. And then obviously you got you got the wild outcomes. Uh, we had game two where Golden State outscored them 84-47 in the second half. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> and then we had game three where the Lakers came back and scored 82 points combined in the second and third quarters mm -hmm. and blew Golden State back out into the parking lot. It's been a series of adjustments. You know, AD is going to dominate Anthony Davis. Well, what are you going to do the second game to defend Anthony Davis? Either put Draymond Green on him or somebody else. What are you going to do to control LeBron? It's all about adjustments. And then the flip side is what are the Lakers doing trying to stop Curry and Klay Thompson from going crazy? And then what does Steve Kerr do in terms of where do you play Draymond Green? Can you keep Draymond Green uh, under control? Uh, do you have the good game with the Kevon Looney or the bad game with Kevon Looney? You know, the other night, Draymond Green in the first half is Looney. Zero points, one rebound, and the Lakers blew their doors off. Yeah. I mean, it's just been a great, great series. I'd like to see this sucker go seven. This Monday night game is going to have a lot of the same antics to it. This is just dynamic basketball. And you close your eyes and you see Anthony Davis crashing the boards and Anthony Davis making baskets. And you close your eyes and you see LeBron unbelievably running the length of the court to block shots at the other glass or LeBron putting it on the floor, driving to the hoop through traffic, making an unbelievable shot and then running into the fans and up the stairwell into the stands. It's just been a super series and the bench bunch. D'Angelo Russell's playing for his next contract and he's hitting a pile of threes and Austin Reeves has disappeared offensively because he's spending all of his energy at the other end of the floor, putting his nose to the grindstone against Steph Corey in terms of banging bodies. Great series. Yeah. It's unbelievable. And these guys are all, Hall of Famers for sure. And, you know, you see LeBron, he's 38. I mean, I, I saw someone mention this on, on, on uh, social media. There was what's more amazing that Shohei Otani can do what he does on both sides, offense and defense, or what LeBron is doing at the age of 38. And, and for the life of me, I don't understand the LeBron haters that always come down on him. I mean, this dude is amazing, um, especially at his age. But I, I see these players, I figure, you know, LeBron's Hall of Famer, AD likely going to be there for Curry for sure, uh, Clay Thompson probably. I mean, this is a big-time series. Um, the other angle is I want to ask you this, Hacksaw. You know, LeBron, I think most people would argue, is one of the top five, right, of all time. I mean, where do you put Curry on that list? I would say he's probably on the periphery of the top five. I mean, he's a phenomenal offensive player, uh, and he's a real team concept guy. But, you know, I – I don't get caught up in the argument. Who's the greatest five? Cause are, so you're telling me that, that magic Johnson and Michael Jordan might fall off the list. Cause we're taking some modern day hero. They're all great players from different eras. So I, I don't worry where you rank Larry bird with Kareem Abdul Jabbar, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So fascinating series. And now we'll just wait and see. It's like a game of chess. There's going to be mo more moves on the board uh, heading towards game four of this playoff series. What a great rivalry. And I don't know if there's anything else that can top it. I mean, with some of the best teams already gotten blown out of the playoffs, mm -hmm. is it is it right to think Lakers could be in the NBA Finals, the team that struggled to even get into the play-in series? Yeah. Are we talking about this team having the potential to go to the NBA Finals? Well, yeah, for sure. I mean, because they have all those great players and – you know, the, the, most of the regular season, it, it was a struggle. I mean, they couldn't get the right chemistry, but after that trade deadline, they figured it out. Now, now here, this is an interesting topic. We talk about whether the Padres Dodgers is a rivalry is the Warriors Lakers a rivalry. I mean, these are two big time winning franchises in rivalry cities, San Francisco and LA, but they haven't met that often in the playoffs, but there has been great success. All the retired banners at the crypto.com yeah. center for the Lakers championships. 
and the modern day number of rings that Golden State's got. Yeah, right. it's it's pretty good. Rivalry. So now that you've got this series with all the drama, I think this is going to build into another Red Sox Yankees kind of a rivalry. And I think that's good for the sport. On- 